This is Co Free with RobinHoodsPlayground.com. We're going to do a guide on flashing the older Hitachi drives. Once again, I'm using a connectivity kit. I'll use this also this time to get it into mode B. I'm using a X360 USB to SATA. It just plugs into the USB on the computer and this turns it to a SATA. First thing we want to do is get it mounted to the computer. You'll know it's in mode B when it's red. When it's blue, it's not. So we want to get this hooked up. You want your eject button up, your mode B button down to where it's in mode B. Turn it on. The drive should mount into your computer. Our drive is G right here, just mount it up. You can right click and hit eject just to make sure. That is our drive. Some people fire the restart the computer and open and close the drive tray three or four or five times to make sure the computer mounts the drive. You can do this with the X360 USB to SATA. I've never had to do that. It always mounts up just fine. Next we want to extract our firmware to the desktop. I always work with the firmware out on the desktop. I've had trouble with it navigating through my documents to get to it. We open the folders. At this point, this drive has already been flashed before, so I have to do a restore. On the Hitachi drives, you want to do a restore before you flash. If it's a brand new drive that's never been flashed, you can go straight to the flashing. You, with the new firmware, all you've got to do is double click on the batch file and it it does it. It's pretty much automatic. So we double click the restore batch, give it our drive letter which was G, give it some time, This part will take a few minutes. Once the restore gets done, if you quit at that point, you're back to a factory drive. It's com been completely restored. All right, now once you get to that window, you're done with the restore. We want to go in here and do our flash. You just double click the batch file that's your flash IX. Once again, you assign the drive letter you want, which is G. Now, you need to put in any four numbers. 
I always put in the last four of the serial number. It makes it a lot easier for me to keep up with it. And once again, we just sit back and wait. Once we're back to here, the flashing's complete. It makes a backup folder right in here, right down here. If you double click and open that, it gives you your key, your was bin, the now bin. You need to back this information up. This is what you need to keep. Now we want to close it out. We're going to get it put back in the 360 real quick and just show you that it a play our backed up copy of Call of Duty. That's it guys, that's the older Hitachis.